Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we have Ben Rose, who is the Chief Marketing Officer at Code HQ. So welcome to the Jam, Ben. Thank you. Good to be here. No worries. Good to have you. So to jump right into it, um, after almost 30 years, Organ Software Group has rebranded into Code HQ. Um, so could you tell me a bit about this um, rebranding and why, what, what brought it on? Yeah, look, no worries. So, so we've been around, as you say, almost 30 years under the Algon brand. Um, and for us, uh, COVID last year was a big moment for us to take stock of what we were doing and what was working and what could work differently. And one of the things we, we realized was that we needed to be a bit clearer about really what we, what we stood for and what we offered, because we spoke to our customers um, and, and, and the market in general, and, and it became clear that although we knew we offered a great service, not many people outside did. So we, we started, um, a really interesting project of understanding, I suppose, our proposition and our brand and who we are and what we're meant to be and what customers are looking for. And we came to the conclusion that the Algon brand, whilst it had been awesome for us for a long time, it wasn't quite communicating what we needed it to and it wasn't working in the way that we needed it to. So we, we took the plunge and we, uh, we made a change. Sounds good. Good. Yeah. Um, so could you tell me about the business in general? Um, what, why it exists? What are your key services? What do you offer? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we offer um, outsource software development. So if you look at most New Zealand businesses who have any kind of digital platform or presence, um, they'll be doing uh, software development in-house or, or outsourced. And what um, we've all found over the, you know, the, last, the last few years, not just the last year, is that customer expectations are growing. So they're, they're expecting more and more functionality. Um, shareholders are expecting growth. They want to see businesses doing more and more and more. But we're a small country and we're a long way from lots of other labor markets. So we've always had this problem of finding the developers um, and good developers to do that, do that work. And so when we founded the business back in 1993, we, we saw that, you know, technology was going to grow and become a thing. And we also saw that the labor market here was going to have challenges. And of course, you know, it's really high, high profile at the moment, but New Zealand businesses just can't get the talent to develop the software they need to. So lots of the clients we work with have had um, high numbers of empty seats. They just can't find people. And so we, we set out to address that years ago um, with a outsource software development as a service kind of model. So um, our clients have a few different options. They can, um, they're, they're local um, body shoppers, as we call them, um, where you can get a developer in off the local market. The challenge with that is um, the costs can be sky high and your business case often doesn't stack up. Um, you can go all offshore and there are lots of offshore software development houses where costs can be low, but there can be challenges around quality and, and engagement and communication and those sorts of things. Um, so we're a, a blended model where you have local expertise and offshore scale. So local experts will come in and, you know, project managers, business analysts, those sorts of people will come and work as part of your business. Um, and then we also run an office out in Vietnam, in Ho Chi Minh City, where there are 95 million people, huge numbers of um, talented quality developers and testers. And so we build teams for our clients as and when they need them. Brilliant, yeah. Um, so like obviously in the last 18 months, the world's changed a lot, not least in the IT and software development spheres. So how has Code HQ adapted as a business over the last yeah, 18 months to a couple of years to change the, um, to meet the changing demands of the market? Well, I, I think COVID um, showed us quite starkly that our um, the approach we'd been taking for years to sales and marketing um, was fine in a world where you can meet people face to face and you can go to events and those sorts of things. But when all of a sudden everybody's working remotely, we found that we didn't have a, a model that enabled that. So we were um, thinking about how, how best to communicate what we do to people um, not in a face-to-face -face way, how best to stand out from our competitors. Because we, we know that, as I said before, the need for software development is higher than ever and it's just growing. And we know that New Zealand businesses have very few choices. So the challenge for us was less about how do we evolve our product offering and more about how do we evolve our sales and marketing activity and profile to get in front of those businesses to let them know. So that was part of the reason was 
uh, of, the, of the rebrand was that, and, and that was about standing, standing out and cutting through and being really clear about what we offer. Um, but also part of it was marketing activity to get in front of those people. So, um, you know, there, there are lots of um, businesses in New Zealand who just accept there's a challenge. We just won't be able to develop as much as we need to. And you can see that in the financial results announcements of lots of listed businesses where they cite development resource as a, as a key barrier. So for us, it was more about being active and um, proactive and getting in front of people and telling them, well, you actually, you don't have to settle. There are There is a way to overcome this talent shortage and there is a way to do great work at speed. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so you've mentioned talent shortage. I just want to um, expand on that a little bit. So it's obviously no secret there's an IT labour shortage in New Zealand. So how um, more specifically is Code HQ helping to address this and solve it? Yeah, so there's always been a shortage of quality developers in New Zealand. Um, just because we're a we're a small country, um, and you know there's a, there's a smaller pool to draw people from. So immigration has been a big part of um, development and testing uh, locally. We've over the years um, we've found that um, off, offshoring and off outsourcing are a good complement to having you know in-house teams. So the horses for courses, in-house teams do some things fantastically, and out, outsource teams do other things well. We see um, the huge scale of offshore markets as a real opportunity for New Zealand businesses to scale up their, their, their development delivery. The challenge can be a bit of nervousness about doing that, about going offshore um, for a number of different reasons. And that could be um, political instability, that could be health scares overseas, that could be currency fluctuations, it could be language barriers, time differences. So our model enables New Zealand businesses to access the talent they need, but not have to worry about those things because we sort them for them. So um, we, uh, one of our founders, Mitchell Pham, is Vietnamese, and um, the reason we opened our office there is because we know that market well. The great thing for our customers has been that there are 95 million people in Vietnam, two thirds of them are under 30. There's a really strong STEM education system, which means there's a good pipeline of quality developers and testers. Um, and so we're able to hire for our clients developers with at least five years experience, which is very unusual here, um, really good English skills and an amazing um, delivery ethos, which um, you, you often don't replicate with internal teams because when you have an internal team, they have to do things like learning and development and birthday celebrations and sick leave and annual leave. Whereas when you outsource, um, certainly with us, you pay for the time that those people are coding for you and you get a great output, a huge you know, delivery, which a lot of people assume you can't at times of labor shortage, but we know that not to be the case. Right, yeah. Um, and uh, looking towards the future now with a new brand, um, what's next for Code HQ? Look, it's all about growth. Um, so this market, like many, um, there aren't that many players doing a fantastic job. And we think that New Zealand businesses deserve a bit more choice than they're currently getting. So for us, it's all about, you know, working with great partners, great clients um, and growing the business and growing the number of New Zealand businesses we can help. Brilliant. Awesome. Well, uh, that's all I've got for you today, uh, Ben. Uh, thank you for coming on. Thanks for taking time out of your day. Really appreciate it. Thank you.